Hey everyone, this is Jen coming at you with another um, Juicing with Jen juice review. Um, I have been wanting to do this particular line for a while and they've been gracious enough to give me the patience as I've been dealing with some health issues. So um, what we will be reviewing tonight is a company called Stinky Canuck. They are based out of Canada. Now, a lot of Canadian companies will not ship to the U.S. However, Stinky Canuck does ship to us, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to be using, my, as most of my time I've been using, is the Freak Show. I have a .28 ohm coil, dual coil build in there, as you guys can see. And I am using the Sigeli um, 75 watt, and I have this in power mode, obviously, because I'm not using um, 9200, and it's set at 45 watts. So um, I had dripped a little bit, but I've been vaping it. I, I really like this flavor. Um, the flavor that I'm going to start with is called Fantasia, F-A-N-Tasia. And this is their drip. So um, it's a 30 ml, and I believe this is high VG. Um, they don't say on the bottle how much, what, what is the uh, PG VG ratio, but um, I will put that in the description like I usually do underneath. Um, my name, you'll have a description of what, what, how to get there and all that. Now, on their website, they describe this flavor as a light, sweet, fruity, shishi vape. You'll, you'll love it. We do. So, I can tell you it smells wonderful. I can smell watermelon, um, and a couple other flavors in there. Some are hard, um, because the other ones have taken over. Um, this is three milligrams, so let's get moving and take a good vape. Oh yeah, this stuff is really, really nice. I'm in really enjoying this one. Very, very nice. It is very delicious. It's not way over the top sweet. It's just spot on. You can taste the watermelon. There's some underlying tones of other melons in it. I can't pick them all out, but let me tell you, I'm really, really enjoying this vape. So, um, we'll get on to the next one, and because I've got four more to go from Stinky Canuck. So, hold on, I'll be right back. Don't move. I mean it. I'm coming back. Okay, I'm back. I hope you didn't go anywhere because I asked you not to. So, number two in the Stinky Canuck um, line I'm reviewing is called Pink Poison. Also in a three milligram on the drip line. And their description is no, excuse me. Taste your, take your taste buds on an adventure. A fruity blend of citrus and berries. A one-of-a-kind experience. Let's see if it lives up to that expectation. So, um, one second here. Let's do that sniffy test. I am definitely getting the citrus notes like the lemon, lime. Um, I'm going to now put it on, paint it into the dripper, and we'll see how it vapes. Okay, we'll do that. Put my top cap on, and here we go. Hmm. 
This one, um, pretty much, it, for me, it doesn't hit the mark. It's um, pretty flavorless. I hate to say that, but I don't get a lot of flavor from this. Um, it's almost, I, I can't even describe it. I don't get any of the citrus tones. It smells right, but it doesn't taste that way to me. And I've had lots of citruses, um, not recently, but in the past. I can smell the lemon line, but um, I, I'm sorry. Pink Poison for me is a miss. It's not a hit. So we've got one hit in Fantasia and one miss in the Pink Poison. Um, next in line is going to be Iceberry Tots. Let me clean out my coils and I will be right back. Don't go away. See, you didn't go anywhere. So here I am with the third review for, um, Stinky Canuck. This one is Iceberry Tots. So let me give you to look it up. I forgot to. So it is Iceberry Tots. Iceberry Tots is labeled as little candy jelly tots with a very slight cool mint twist. Dig it. So let's see. Does it have that? I'm excited to try it. Um, it smells really good. I can really, really, really smell a lot of the fruit in it. Um, like the strawberries and different fruits. Uh, we will vape this. So here we go. That, wow, that's really good. I really do like this, um, the Iceberry Tots. You taste the, um, <clears throat> on your inhale, you taste the berries. On the exhale, it's just that slight coolness. I mean, it is almost barely not there. So they really did do what they said. Um, it, it's very good. If you are... A previous menthol smoker this might be excellent for you and it's not overly done to burn your sinuses and thing or your throat oh man this is really good I really like the icy tots um, yeah. Woo. Wait a minute. Gotta take another drag. Hmm. Mmm. Yum yum. Wow. Great flavor. I really, really do enjoy this. So, um, okay people. That's my third one. I have two more to go on this line. I have two really good hits. And I have one miss. So, um, let's see what comes up next. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back for the, uh, one, two, fourth video <laughs> review of the Stinky Connect line. I am sorry, guys, getting late here. So, um, the next one I'm going to be doing is called Swinging Apple. Now... They have described it on their recipe, um, their website, that this is a new recipe. Now a more intense apple flavor, tart and sweet, just like a glass of apple juice. So let's see how it is. Oh yeah, I can smell the apples. I can smell... Um, the, the 
sweet apple and I can also smell the others. So let's see how this vapes. Uh, had to do a new build so I may have to drip a little bit more than usual. Um, I usually just change out the cotton but Tommy pulled the, one of the thing, the wires out. So any rate, let's get my cap on. Let's vape this baby. Let me make sure it's a yeah, range I can take. Let's just wick it a little more. Okay. Now. Now let's see. I like it. I get a nice balanced apple flavor out of it. Not too much where it's overpowering, but just enough. It's really, really yummy. Ooh, that's good. Let me do that one more time, people. Yeah, I, this one is a, another, it's going to be on my hit list, I think. I think, think, think. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. They did a great job. Again, that is Swingin' Apple. I don't know if I showed you the bottle, three milligrams. There we go. And this one will be in the It's a Hit. And for the finale, people, will be Melonberry Splash. Let me change out that carton. I will be cotton. Let me be right back. Okay, everybody, we have made it to the absolute last one. And it is Stinky Canucks Drip. Melon, um, yeah, Melonberry Splash, and this is in zero nick, ooh, so I'm gonna have to add nicotine, but anyway, so this one came in zero nick, so, um, if I don't have zero nick, I'll have to add it, but, um, they do have it, obviously, online. Now, their description of the Stinky's Melonberry Splash is this. A sweet and delicious blend of strawberry and watermelon. Now, strawberry and watermelon are two of my most favorite flavors. So, let's give Melonberry a smell and then a drip. It smells good. I hope it lives up to that, um, because that is my big time love vape thing. One of my favorite flavors. So, melon berry splash. Let's get it on. This is so good. Oh my goodness gracious. No, this is fantastic. I think this is my like A1 number one out of all of them that I love. Hold on, I gotta take another hit of this. And of course I'm gonna need to add nicotine, so. Um, but OMG. Yeah, that sweet ripeness of the strawberry kind of 
counteracts that oversweet watermelon and makes it a perfect balance. So your inhale, you get a lot of the strawberry on that exhale is the watermelon. And it reminds me of the watermelon Jolly Ranchers, the hard ones that you could get. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. So that's another hit for me. Now, you know, at the end of my shows, if I do more than one in a line, I try to line them up on favorites. So that's what I'm really going to do next. Um, my ultimate favorite, um, actually is the melon berry splash. That is my A1 number one that I love with a close second of Fantasia. Um, and then it, it, the other two are hard. I like the iceberry tots a lot, and I really do like swinging apple as well. So either one of these. The other two are my number one spot, and these two go in number two. Now, um, the one that I didn't like, and of course it could be me, and you know, every reviewer likes things differently. So we all, you know, somebody will say this is fantastic, but for me it is a big miss. Um, and that's the pink poison. I was very disappointed in this one. I didn't, I could smell what they were doing, but I didn't get it on the flavor hit. So that was a big kind of miss for me. So I was a little disappointed with pink poison, but the other four that I had were fantastic. Thank you so much to Stinky Canuck. All the information will be underneath in the description, a link to their website and their Facebook page, links to the five flavors that I have reviewed in order of how I like them. And then also, I wanted to show you that the um, wicking material that I use, it comes from a company called Leo D Designs. They are on eBay. I will put their link um, to their site. They're also on Facebook, and I'll link that as well. But it's called Texas Tough. And this is absolutely amazing. It's raw sub ohm vape wick. So it doesn't burn. I haven't caught this on fire at all. Um, you know, I can burn out the old juice and reuse it. Um, actually, I did clean out the wick um, when I made that boo-boo in between Icy Tots and the next one. Um, then I had had that particular um, wicking, that, which is this, the Texas Tough, for about a month. And I use my Freak Show when I'm home, eh, pretty much a lot. Not, I'm not a huge dripper like everybody, but especially if I'm reviewing, I will drip, especially with longer lines. So, um, I will put it in, I think if you buy one package, it's like $2.99, I may be wrong, um, but it's very, very reasonable, um, Leo D Designs, I will have that in the description as well, thank you very much. And Stinky Canuck, thank you so much for being patient when... I've had all the um, mess up with the um, multiple sclerosis and my chemotherapy and then the surgery and stuff. You guys have been fantastic. I can't thank you enough. Stinky Canuck is definitely a company to check out. Um, and all I can say is I hope you guys come on board and sponsor my show on Sanctuary. So to everybody, as I always say, remember to vape and breathe because vaping can help you to breathe better. Number two, please join CASA, C-A-S-A-A dot org. Um, and there's other, um advocacy groups out there as well. It's very, very important that we start, start advocating before we lose all of our vaping rights. So, um, I will also put a link to CASA in the description as well. And as always, please remember to like, share, and to sub to my channel. And I will see you on the next review. Remember to vape and breathe. I love you all. Thank you for being here and listening to me rant again.